Hello folks, uh, I'm creating this uh, new video series where I will be uh, showing you how to build a chatbot from scratch using TensorFlow and uh, more specifically uh, using TFLearn, uh, which is a kind of a framework built on top of TensorFlow. So in this video and the subsequent related videos, I'm going to show you how to build a chatbot from scratch which will basically understand the context of conversations uh, we are going to have with it. Okay, that is, it would be able to understand contextual uh, responses and, uh, you know, won't uh, deviate away from the subject of the conversation. So I will be using TFLearn, which is a layer or a wrapper above uh, TensorFlow, as I told you earlier, and uh, for this purpose, in fact. So TFLearn is a deep learning library uh, featuring a high level API for TensorFlow. So it is just like a Keras API and Python uh, will be the primarily uh, used for this purpose. And I would be uh, using, uh, you know, uh, Google Colab for training the model. So uh, keep on watching this video and upcoming videos till the end to see the neural network trained chatbot in action. Uh, which can answer your questions seamlessly. So folks, this is Nitin who is on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I am regularly creating the associated content and publishing it as well on a periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. You can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at the links given above. So before we proceed further, let's understand what exactly is a chatbot. So a chatbot essentially is a computer program uh, with some artificial, uh, you know, intelligence capabilities to understand a user's textual inputs and provide responses to them. And conversation happens uh, just like, you know, talking to another human being, right? Uh, so that is pretty much, uh, you know, chatbot is about. And according to Oxford Dictionary, a uh, computer program, uh, Basically, a chatbot is a computer program designed to simulate conversations with human users, especially over the internet. So there are hundreds of messaging apps like WhatsApp, Slack, Skype, uh, which are skyrocketing these days. And Facebook Messenger alone has, you know, more than 1.2 um, billion monthly users. So think about it, how much massive it is. And with the inception of messengers, uh, chatbots that imitate human conversations, uh, you know, for solving various tasks are becoming increasingly in demand. Okay. And online chatbots save, uh, save basically online chatbots save some time and effort by automating customer support. So Gartner uh, forecasted that uh, by 2020, over 85% of customer interactions will be handled without a human. So, however, uh, the opportunities provided by chatbot uh, system go far beyond uh, giving responses to customers' inquiries. They are also used for businesses or business tasks like uh, collecting information about users, helping to organize meetings, and uh, reducing uh, you know overhead costs. So, there is no wonder that size of uh, the chatbot market is growing exponentially. So I will be using TFLearn, which is a layer of wrapper or uh, layer or wrapper above TensorFlow for building the neural network or, you know, in layman terms, uh, AI based chatbots. So the reason I chose uh, TFLearn over Keras, uh, obviously you will ask this question why I chose uh, TFLearn. So the reason I chose TFLearn over Keras is mainly because of three reasons. Number one is that TFLearn, uh, you know, in fact, with TFLearn, uh, I can use Python uh, arrays directly. Okay, Keras, on the other hand, needs, you know, NumPy arrays. But with uh, TFLearn, uh, there is no, you know, uh, such problem. Secondly, TFLearn API is more closer to TensorFlow code as compared to Keras. Okay, and thirdly, 
and lastly tflearn provides better performance than kera so that was the reason i chose tflearn here so i will be creating some uh, you know uh, video series uh, related to keras also uh, later on uh, for, but for this uh, uh, for the purpose of creating this chatbot i used tflearn so chatbot framework essentially needs a document okay or a documents containing conversations in the form of questions and answers and this is required so that our deep learning model uh, or deep learning neural network can understand the intent or context in which these conversations are going on okay so essentially we need a structure in which conversational intents are defined because intent is an important component of chatbot pla platform okay and now you will ask what is intent right well uh, so, so let me take an example uh, to explain the intent let's say i have a assistant and uh, i told her to reserve uh, you know a table in a restaurant and here my assistant uh, will pick up a phone and give a call to book a, give a call to a specific restaurant to uh, book a table at you know at a particular time let's say so here my assistant knows how to respond to my query because her brain is already trained for that right but question is how will you train uh, your chatbot to respond for a particular query or such kind of queries so in case of chatbots uh, to make them uh, respond according to the user query we use intent classification and categories in which chatbot uh, respond uh, these uh, questions or queries are known as intents okay so let's say you ask for a uh, for booking a table at restaurant then it will respond under the category uh, and uh, un under that category and if you ask for uh, let us say sale price of a computer then it will respond under that uh, sale price category of computer and so on okay please note that we can uh, use uh, or i will be using a json file format to give a structure to our intents because json is uh, easily readable by machine learning models and for your information uh, json stands for javascript object notation and is you know very heavily used file format uh, these days in big data and, and analytics world right let me show you an intent file where you can see the conversational intents which i'm going to use for modern training model training okay so let me open it so this is my intents file so you can see here uh, you know it is a there is a kind of a structure given to this intents files okay so you can see there are tags patterns and responses tags pattern and responses and tag if the tag is greeting then the pattern is hi how are you is anyone there hello so all sort of uh, patterns related to greeting and then corresponding responses for those greeting okay so hello thanks for visiting good to see you again so these are all responses associated with these patterns right similarly if someone is saying goodbye then the pattern associated with that tag goodbye tag is like bye see you later goodbye and the responses associated with these patterns are like see you later thanks for visiting have a nice day etc so there is a kind of this so this is an intent file and we have given a structure to the conversation and i will be utilizing this intents file for training our neural network model okay for uh, building the chatbot so it is kind of in the form of a question and answer so you can treat them as a question and answer so uh, in a way right so this is pretty much about it like uh, we have different tags patterns and responses and similarly these are some of the you know tags uh, patterns and responses i have included but you can keep on building this intent file uh, in order to you know keep on adding uh, different kind of uh, question and answers in order to train your model so let's go back so before uh, in fact going back uh, uh, you know and uh, let me uh, tell you what these uh, tags pattern and responses uh, tells you about you know 
because I just briefly covered, but you know, I should let you know what exactly are these tags, patterns, and responses. So a tag is uh, nothing but a unique name uh, given to a particular conversational, uh, you know, question answer responses. And a pattern is nothing but a sentence pattern for neural network text class classifier. Okay, so different kind of uh, patterns we can uh, include here uh, with respect to a tag. Okay, and responses are nothing but a text sentence used as a response to one of the pattern given above. Okay, so this is a uh, pretty much about these three uh, things and in fact uh, these three uh, parts are associated to each and every intent okay so i will also be giving some contextual flavor uh, to these chatbots by adding some uh, basic contextual elements to it okay later on and i will be covering those uh, in a detailed manner later on i will also be explaining the corresponding tf learn code or tensorflow code uh, as we move forward okay so this was just an introduction of things i'm going to cover i will be explaining the tf learn code for building this chatbot starting next video so folks this is uh, this is it for this video to conclude i explained what exactly is chatbot which framework are we going to use for building chatbot introduction of intents or etc okay so let me ask you today's question uh, from the video I explained uh, today. Uh, so why did I chose TF Learn over Keras for building our artificial intelligence based chatbot? Please post your comments in the comment section given below because I get motivated as well as get a chance to incorporate your feedback. Okay, and you can also ask your te technical questions in the comment section and I will be very glad to answer your questions. Okay, and if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.